Hey everybody, I have a quick UI design tip for you today. I'm gonna to show you how to make perfect drop shadows. Um, so to show you this, I'm going to give an example of how to do this on a dashboard kind of design where you have a bunch of different elements very close to each other. And then I'm gonna show you another example where we have a design, this is a dribble shot, where it's just sitting all on its own. So we're gonna do a little, little bit of a, a different technique there. So I'm gonna start over here on the dashboard. We're gonna add shadows to all of these cards here that all the content is sitting on. So one thing that you need to keep in mind when you're, you're de designing shadows is all of the shadows need to be going in the same direction. So one, one thing that I usually like to keep in mind is that I, I, uh, I try to think of some sunlight coming down through the screen like this. And I keep in mind like what kind of shadow that would produce. So I'll zoom in here and show you what I mean. So we have this card here and we'll turn on the shadow. And so by default, we have this really harsh looking shadow. It doesn't look super natural. And so we can make this look a lot better. So what I like to do is actually keep this, uh, the Y axis here um, on, on two usually, some, somewhere around there. So that makes it look like the sun is coming down just like this. Um, but I like to turn up the, the blur just a little bit. So have that go up to maybe five or six to give that a little bit more of a natural look. Turn up the spread. One, two, somewhere around there. And now the big problem here is that the opacity of the shadow is way too strong. So by default, it's at 50. Now I like to turn this way, way down. So I'm gonna go down to somewhere around 10. And that's still looking a little bit too strong. So I'm even gonna go lower down to about three. So that to me looks like a nice natural shadow. And we'll zoom out and see how that looks in the context of the, the entire design. So I think that's looking pretty good. I think it, it makes these cards pop a little bit, but doesn't have that overwhelming sort of look that, that it does if you just turn the shadow on without adjusting it. So I'm going to apply this to the entire design now. So on sketch, you can just copy the style of that rectangle and then go through paste style, paste style. Now this is just making it so every card in the design has that shadow. All right, now I think that looks pretty good. Oh, just lost its green color because I copied the white onto there. Let's move that back to green. All right. So I, th I think that's looking pretty good. I, th I think that's a, a really solid shadow and, and really adds to that design. So now I'm gonna show you the next example on this uh, little design showcase that, that I have set up for Dribble. Um, so again, we have the same problem design, just blend, blends right into the background here. So we can turn on a shadow. And again, we're gonna keep that same principle in mind where the sun is coming down through the design like that. So we can turn up that, that Y axis a little bit like that. And now, so the, the difference between this design and the last is that we don't have as, as many things around it. So I like to have the blur on this go quite a bit higher. Somewhere, I, I think somewhere in the 40s is pretty good for that. Um, and we don't have spread on this because we're, we're just putting this directly onto an image, so you, you can't control the spread. 
Um, I probably wouldn't do much with that even if I could though. And then with the opacity, I'm gonna bring this down to 10. You see how that looks. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's zoom out. Maybe a little bit lower. All right. Yeah, I, I think that looks pretty good. And so um, you could just take take the uh, specs that I have from this um, if you want to use that on your own design. So it's zero for X, four for Y, 44 for blur, and then in here we have eight for the alpha. All right, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more tips very soon.